No, things are going great. I have no complaints. Health-wise, have been pretty excellent lately. So, oh what have they been saying? That um, that I'm looking thinner. Clothes are fitting better. My aunt has said that it looks like I'm losing weight. Doctors have made comments about it. Test results. Um, I've had the best A1C I probably have since I've been diagnosed with diabetes last week. Uh, it was a 5.2. When I was diagnosed, it was 15. My fasting blood sugar, I think, was 520. And I told Nash also that I had my high, I had really bad hypertension. It was 202 over like 100 or something like that. The 202 sticks out because that's the one that burned. That number burned in my head for a while. Checked it last week. It was still high, but it's the lowest it's been in a long time, 130 over 88. How some you are at 130? Oh, man, it's probably been six, seven years. Wow, that's a massive improvement. I've always, I've always floated around 149, 150, 160, even on medication. So I've never been that low. Um, some improvement, but we're no longer hypertension. So things are improving um, right. big time. My stamina at work, 10 times better. I don't feel winded at the end of the day. I was very, very happy. Last week's check-in was quite the high. Not only are things changing physically, but what I can't see is changing. That, to me, is the biggest deal. My general inside health is changing. That's the biggest deal because that tells me, okay, yep, I can live life without being in hypertension. I wow. can not have to worry about the swings of diabetes, you know, my highs and lows. A 5.2 means that I have been steady for three months. Something I tell Nash week, week after week after week. I said it's, it's a household thing, right? So if one person is getting after it and trying to be healthy, guess what? spreads to the to the partner so so we go to the gym together we're That's doing awesome. sets together we're counting calories together we're weighing so food together awesome. we're meal prepping together we're going on walks together yeah. it's it's a it's a lifestyle change so it's not just me doing this how much i was just about to ask how much weight did she lose what are you at now how much how many pounds so she's about 15 pounds down. She's got P2S, so it's a little bit so so it's a little bit difficult for her to lose weight with her P2S. But she's, but it's working. Uh, our our routine during the week, all that is just awesome. And I'm I'm fluctuating between 20 and 25 pounds. So I'm at that point where that 258 mark is where the mental games began. Yeah. And so I'm fluctuating between 260, which is about 117 kilos, and between Oh, I think the lowest I've been at was 253, which is about 116, 115.9 or 8. So we started at 274. 274. My heaviest, yep, so, and my heaviest is 288. So when I started the journey before I met you, I was at 288. So we're, so since the journey started, I'm down about 30 pounds since you guys have been just fluctuating between 20 and 25, yeah, yeah. which is excellent but it's all it's all we're winning i'm curious to know dude what has been different that has allowed you to succeed this time around because i know you tried to lose the weight before for me it's being able to see results in the mirror at the gym mm -hmm. i don't know something's different this time well accountability but when you are at the gym and you're finally seeing small changes like but when i'm looking in the mirror at the mirror and as I'm watching myself do a controlled lift, seeing different muscles that I'm not used to seeing. I think there was one week I was doing hammer curls, yeah. and all of a sudden on my bicep, this muscle yeah. begins to appear. <laughs> Those small changes, seeing that improvement makes me, okay, yeah, now I want to go to the gym you because now I'm actually seeing yeah. change. Yes, it's a small change, but I'm actually beginning to see my body change. Number two, seeing before and afters. I never got like, okay, yeah, the photos every week. Okay, yeah, I get it. But when Nash showed me my first photo compared to last week's photo, holy smokes, man. <laughs> it, it's it's insane. It's, it's, it's literally night and day. Yeah. And then he showed me the difference between last week and two weeks ago. Yeah. And still, huge change. Yeah. That's a huge motivator. When you go through it day by day, it's hard to see change. Like, but some days it's like, what's the point of me even doing that? So you get step on the scale, it fluctuates. Yeah. You get frustrated yeah. because, hey, you know, I'm keeping track. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And all of a sudden you jump two pounds. And you're like, what the heck? But then you see the bigger picture. Yes. Right. The scale is not everything. And I think that is the biggest change. Yeah. 
this time around. How have you found the programs, the food, the training, the changes? When I first started, that was the hardest two weeks of my entire life. Yeah. The hardest two weeks ever. Now that we're in four months, the training is probably my favorite part. Meals are good. I've learned how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, because you got to make it a little bit exciting, you know, so you got to be able to go out and find the marinades that are macro friendly, you know, the barbecue sauces that are macro friendly, play with seasonings, play with grilling. I'm planning on this fall to learn how to smoke some meat. So I'm learning on that front, but the food has been good. More you know, you learn how to cook, you learn how to cook it, and, and stable and I'm, I'm not snacking. You're probably eating high volume, right? So you're probably not as hungry as you previously were, because we're not cutting food necessarily out. No, and that's just it. That's another point. I don't feel restricted. And so even when I went and got my doctor's results, it's like, okay, if I want, let's just, like tonight, my wife and I are going to go out on date night. I said, let's let's go out. And so right now I'm fasting, you know, because I know it's going to be a lot of calories tonight. <laughs> but I don't feel restricted yeah. either. If this was David in March, there's just there's no way I would be carrying to the cabinets right now, uncontrolled, binge eating because I had been fasting. You know, last night I ate a bunch of protein before I went to bed, ate a bunch of chicken that has stained me through, what is it, three o'clock right now? I'm good to go. And that allows me to be able to, okay, yep, the wife and I can go out and eat dinner. I can stay within my calories. I can stay within my deficit. Yeah. That's something that, that I would not have been able to do changes in your lifestyle that will stay with you forever and that's the goal we want you to we want to help you lose the weight no matter how much it is the biggest takeaway from here is uh, habitual development and the knowledge and comprehension you have developed over the last couple of months with training with nutrition look building correct relationships with training nutrition and your body and the people around you because in order for this to be sustainable it needs, you know, you can't be restricted to be able to go out on day nights. You know what I mean? So I'm really glad to hear that um, things are going well. There's just positive changes. So I've learned that, yes, I want to see the scale go a certain direction. Yeah, but, it's but as long as it's moving in that direction, I'm good with that. Yeah. The other benefits outweigh what I see at the scale sometimes. Exactly. That's the biggest change. Yeah. That's the biggest change between the conversation I've had with you all the way back in April yeah now is learning not to be so much frustrated with at the scale you know i can be frustrated at the scale if i'm not doing what i'm supposed to do if i'm not going to the gym if i'm not going and get my steps in then there's there's ways that we can correct but if i'm on point with everything it's just all around positive how have you found the experience with us and how have you found everything it's been really good number one i feel like i can be 100 percent honest yes. with you guys yes. and get the feedback that i need with that it's been really good going to Nash and saying, hey, just so you know, this is what's coming up. This is where I struggled with last time. I'm really going to need your help to get over this mental hurdle. I know that that's going to be the tripping point. And he's been with me every step of the way. Hey, yep, let's fine tune this. Don't worry about that. Let's fine tune this. That's oh, yep. Hey, we, we have victory here. Don't worry about that. We have victory here. We can work on that. And so being able to get that individualized coaching, you know, it's not cookie cutter, you know, because my wife has tried other programs that are cookie cutter. Yeah. We're all just numbers, but it's individualized. I think that's the biggest thing with this program is that I'm not just a number. I feel like that. OK, yep. It's not patient 73. It's OK. Yep. David. It's David Gaffney. How can I be a service to you? What lifts are you struggling with? Let's see how we can improve together on this. That's been the biggest thing is just being able to have someone through the hard times because good times are good, right? But it's the bad times where you didn't really have that great of a week. You know, uh, your consistency went out the window because of whatever, family emergencies, whatever. And you need someone to come up beside you and say, that's life. It happens. Move forward. You're good to go, man. And so I've needed that. I've needed that help over those speed bumps. As I told you guys in the beginning, I'm my harshest critic, but I'm also my biggest enemy. So I will self-sabotage because I don't think things are going well. The community is great. Yeah. I'm not online too often. What's so cool about the community is I see a lot of dudes that are me. You know, there's guys that are around my weight point, a little heavier that, that I look at and it's like, yeah, okay, that's me. I, I see you. I see me and you guys and yeah. be able to see their victory and that they're getting after it and that yeah. they're killing it at the gym and that they're having success in weight loss means like, okay, my same peer group is able to have the same success. And I 
then I can do it too. It's huge motivation. It's, it's realizing that I'm not the only one in the same journey. There's a lot of guys that are waking up and realizing that we need to change. Yeah. It's just so awesome to, to be able to relate to other That's guys. Important. It so, all started because you simply followed Instagram, right? Yeah, I simply just followed you last. Yeah, I I just simply followed you. I loved I loved your content, Thank you. and I agreed with everything you were saying. At the back of my mind, I hit follow because it's like I don't know if I'm ready for this now, but at some point I will be. Dude, what you're doing is working. It's changing lives, man. It's Thank it's changed my family's lives, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I know you guys hear this time and time again, but passionately for me, you know, I get a little emotional because. You know, I, I have responsibilities, man. You know, I, I got bills to pay. You know, I got family taken care of. I need to be in a position to be able to come forward, to, to be able to come through for my family. What you guys provide is the ability for us to be able to do that. You know, yes, it's workouts, yes, it's food, but that it is the base that. for everything that it's we do. Vehicle. And I'm so <laughs> glad that you, you're at a point where you realize that, right? We're not here to help you lose weight. We're here to help change your life. And the vehicle we use is weight loss, right? Through that process, we also want to coach you, guide you, mentor you through all the struggles that you might face because, you know, we want to see you grow and develop and evolve ultimately, right? And I know you said that, yeah, we hear it all the time, but dude, I love hearing it. It it's, it reignites and reminds me of like why we do this. And it's awesome to hear all the positive comments and like hearing all the negative comments because it's like, what can we improve on? What can we do better? Not many people say much, so. I don't have too much negative to say. You know, the negative part of of any type of journey is hearing what you don't want to hear. And so just because sometimes you hear what you don't want to hear doesn't mean that the program is negative. Sometimes criticism is the best fuel, you know, and I, and I think people miss that. When I, when I started this program, when I was going through the first two weeks and I thought, man, how am I going to do this? This seems yeah. restrictive. I don't know if I can do this. I don't feel that way now. Mm. I, I, I mm. really don't. I don't feel that way now because just like I said, my wife and I were going to the date night tonight. I have the tools in my belt to allocate, allocate my calories for it. I'm doing that right now. We're going to go have a fun night. I don't feel restricted. Also, everything is built to the point where I don't have to go and tear in the cabinets. I have the tools in my belt to be able to live life and take care of myself without constantly having to go to food. My, my life is in a, in, a, in, a, in a way filled with stress. So how do I manage that? Yeah. Well, before it was snacks. Before it was little Debbie's. I, I don't have to do that anymore. And when you were saying that, it was it was giving me chills because it's you know it's so cool to hear, man. And like a lot of people tend to result into things like surgery, Ozempic, and stuff. When in reality, you don't need to do that. Um, and we have so right. many guys joining us that consider Ozempic or even have tried the surgery and it still didn't work. Uh, because it's just not right. sustainable. And I'm glad that you didn't make that choice and you gave this a shot. No, me too. It's a life changer. It literally is. It's just the beginning. Yeah. 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 What I'd love to do is, you know, even after we work together, I'd love to catch up with you so I can see whether or not you've been able to maintain that weight off as well. Absolutely. I, I would I would love to keep in contact with you guys. Sure. However long your journey goes, even afterwards, I would love to keep in contact. For sure. For sure. Um, because it's just, it's not just the program, right? It's yeah. it's what we do after the program, right? That's the most important. And, you know, okay, yep, I'm training now, but what do we do afterwards? What do I do now that, okay, you guys have set me up for success? The, the mindset has changed. My habits have changed, yes. you know? And with that, you know, we have family events that are coming up. I have a family reunion next week um, that I'm going to. It's a week-long thing. Um, my, and so... Show you, this is my wife's list of everything that we're going to need for that week yeah. to keep some level of consistency. I love that she's in it with you. <laughs> so this is like, it's like, okay, what's the meal plan and what do we need for the week? <laughs> the baseline of the program allows me to be able to, okay, I know that I'm going to be out of my routine next week. Yes. So how do I keep that consistency while not feeling restricted? Exactly. Right? Because your environment will change. Life might be busier. Life might be less busy. You might travel. You might X, Y, Z. You know, you can't live like a hermit crab. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to hear. Is it, well, while we're here, David, is there anything I can do? Any questions I can answer for you? No. 
it's kind of weird to say, but uh, no, you guys are knocking it out of the park for us. That's awesome, dude. I'm really glad that you've enjoyed everything. And, you know, if you need another chat, if you need anything from me, just shoot me a message. But it's good to be able to catch up and hear some wins. You know, I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying everything. And I like to have these calls just to touch base. You know, I still want to make sure that I am around for people. I just want to make sure that you guys are hearing it from us that that what you guys do matters and it is making positive effective change in our lives thank you david i'm excited it was good to catch up david it's always good to hear from you and um and if you need anything reach out thanks for you know hopping on today just having a bit of a catch up yeah as i said if you ever need anything let me know okay have a good day david enjoy enjoy your weekend Bye. you too man all right